Ben, obviously you've been here at Gloucester a long time. There's been difficult runs within those times, as well as obviously the good times. Where does this sort of compare? Uh, I suppose it's uh, it's just a frustrating period more than anything. Um, it's uh, the last probably three games. We feel like we've not been too far away from it, um, particularly last week. A bounce of a ball uh, really uh, does change things. Um, but it's it's about the group, um, keeping a resolve, uh, keeping positive and keep believing on what we're trying to do because like I said, we're not a million miles off and actually one result changes everything. Um, mindset, everyone is more confident going into uh, into games, into training. Um, but by, by all means, this isn't sort of panic stations at all. It's trust the system and things will come good. What's missing then for you? What's missing? Um, I think... Large parts of, of, of things can be uh, individuals trying too hard, um, not completely trusting what we're doing. Um, and that's you, you almost can go into situations where you probably try and get, um, try and do too much almost, rather than say last year where we, we had a, a fantastic run, everyone just did their job and didn't really go outside of that. And that eagerness almost to do well, is that sort of most evident at discipline and the breakdown, for instance? Uh, look, yeah, I think uh, the breakdown is and, and, and the discipline side of things is certainly something we're addressing and highlighting and making sure that everyone's aware of the effects that it has on the team, um, the repercussions, you know, and, and those are where we're in, in games and it's small margins. That is a deciding factor, but certainly isn't the, the sole reason that we've uh, not come good in those games. And the way that you're talking at the moment it sounds very much like you're needing to separate results from performances, which, as an experienced player, you can do. For the younger ones, is that a little bit more difficult? I think it's uh, it's down to us senior players to, to bring the group through on that sort of stuff. Um, I think uh, that everyone here is here to work hard and, and work for the team, and we've just got to make sure we're all doing it in the right direction. And talking of senior players, obviously Franco Mostert has taken on the captaincy in the last couple of weeks without Willie Hines being here. As a leader, what's he like to play for? Because obviously we look at it and it looks very much like he's a lead by example type. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think everyone can see his actions on the field. Um, it's inspiring to get behind and, and everyone, I can speak for everyone, I say that everyone gets behind him. Um, so, I mean, there's plenty of leaders and, and talkers in around the training environment and um, obviously when it comes to match day, then it's uh, probably drops down to probably two or three people and that's it. And with your experience and the likes of Ed Slater, are you two sort of in that group as well? Yeah, certainly. I think uh, by the nature of being at the club for, uh, what is it, eight years now, um, Ed's got a wealth of experience coming through. We've got Billy Twelve, Trees, Danny, um, those guys uh, all, all sort of form the, the senior player group. and. It's important because, like I said already, that everyone in this group is trying to work hard and work for the same goal. And it's just making sure that everyone is on the same page all the time. Have Gloucester had enough go forward earlier on in games? I mean, we look at the way that they come back into games at the moment, but are they getting over the, uh, the game line enough for you, sort of, you know, in that first 60 minutes? I think we can over scrutinise every performance if we really want to. Um, What's important for us is we actually look and trust our system at every opportunity. So whether it's uh, an attacking opportunity or defensive, um, it's up to us as, as players, as individuals, but also as a collective to stick to our system. So not too much pressure on you then to be the one who, who crashes over and, and punches holes then? Oh look, rugby is a simple game, you always need to go forward. So uh, carriers in and amongst the squad have, have got a, a role to play. Um, just as, as your playmakers have got to keep us in the right positions, as your uh, defensive leaders have got a role to play as well. So everyone's got their role. And like I said earlier, as long as everyone keeps doing that and, and keeps working, this isn't a bad team by any stretch. Um, we, we rewind the clock 12 months. And we're in very different conversations. It just happens to be not falling our way at present um, for not just one reason. It's different reasons each game. Uh, and that's something that we as a group have got to collectively sort out and then things will be uh, changing pretty swiftly. How highly do you rate Wasps and their pack? They've got a fantastic team, yeah. Um, we've, we've obviously done our, our, our detail on them and, and, and looked at the opportunities that we think we can e exploit, but also very aware of the threats that they have around the field. Um, 
fantastic attacking attacking team, um, natural counter attackers, and that's obviously something that uh, we've got to be wary of. Um, but like I said, really for us, it doesn't really matter who we're playing. We've got to focus on what we're bringing and making sure we get our detail right. And then from that point, then we can really worry about everything else.